Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Yisrael. This is the week of Ekev. The week of Ekev. Oh, what a sedra Ekev is. We just passed Veschanon, and we passed Tishbov, and the great sea of Mashas, where there were 100,000 people. You'll never get over that experience. And when we danced over there for 20 minutes, 100,000 people dancing. The women were dancing too. Dancing in this great Simchas HaTorah. Never was it since Rameir Shapiro, 100,000 people in one building. There were other places in America and in Europe and in England and South Africa and in all over, all over the world. Maybe two, 300,000 people were dancing and at the same time. This is unbelievable. Yes, there was demonstrations uh, against things in Israel, but not for Talmud Torah, it was never 200,000 people. And there was uh, when the value of the great Gedoni soil of uh, Moshe Feinstein, 150,000. I know, but for Liban Atoa, there was never 100,000 people since the poor Mbaye Shani. Liban Atoa. I have only one little complaint. It was Kiddush Hashem Nora, but you know, maybe you, you thought about that too. Five and a half hours of drushes. Five and a half hours of drushes. Five and a half hours of drushes. But when you come to Messiah the Shas, the end of Nida, Ton Deliohu, Kalashon, Alochus Bukhodio Muftahu, Hu Shad Hu Ben Olam Habo, don't read it. Alochus, read Alichos, don't read Alichos, Alochus. Don't you think there should be more than 30 seconds? That was it. No discussion about that little piece of Gomorrah. Or maybe the ten sons of Rap Papa. I felt that was missing. And then the Mishnah. The maschil, he almost wanted to sit down. They told me, hey, you have to ask, make the mission. Oh, the mission. Oh, I forgot. 30 seconds. Hey, the psycho on Krishna Bishab, 30 seconds. I wanted a three minute sheer on the mission. Tell me a chidush. Tell me a chidush over there and tell the veil yohu by your nida. Maybe they, who knows. But still, it's a chidush Hashem Nora. Tremendous chidush Hashem. Never was a such thing in my life. Let's talk about Akif. Akif Tishmoon. Akif Tishmoon. Why don't you say Im if you listen? Why do you have to use a funny word, Akif a heel? So Rashi tells you if you listen to the little things, you're going to definitely listen to the big thing. For instance, little things that people walk in with their heel. When you walk in the street, you're not thinking that the heel goes down first and then the front. And so you go without thinking. If you. Do things that most people forget about. You certainly do the big stuff. Little things. Little things. Who knows? Little things. If you do the little thing, you're a doctor on little thing. You definitely keep the big things. Just like a person who, gives, who goes away from Torah. Once he goes away from the little things, does little of it's going to get worse. That little thing that he does is not so bad, but you can notice that will lead to big things. How do you think those traitorous branches of Judaism broke away? They didn't do big things right away. Little things change a man. Uh, eventually they became the children's children married Goyim. I don't have to tell you what we're talking about. We all know it. Masaratem, you will just stray a little bit away. Vavaratem, lehim achem, you will worship other gods, says the Gemara. Straying a little bit away, you can already do Abodazara? You, your children, your grandchildren. It always is like that. It will be Akev Tishmun if you'll listen to the little things that I tell you that I'll give to keep the promise for you. I'll bless you. You'll be invincible. Akev is 172. We said it in the last part of Beskhanan. Because there's a, there's a difference over there. Akev is 172. The series of Dibbers has 172 words, because the first Jew kept it 172 years at Rome. 175 minus 3, 172. Also, it has 620 letters, because 600 rabbits, or 613 mitzvahs, and 7 mitzvahs of Rabbanon. And Akim, same letters as Kva, make your Torah Kva, at every set time, every day, like Afiyomi, every day at the same time, early in the morning or late at night. Then you'll be successful. Have a plan. Like Rob Fran said at this CMI shots, have a plan. What they say, a dream is just a worthless dream. 
but a dream, a dream with a program and a plan. That is success. A dream with a plan. How are you going to carry out this plan? Just a dream is nothing. People have a lot of dreams. It never comes anything. A dream with a program. Ah, oh, that's a plan. Mayor Shapiro had a, a dream, had a ma'achet all cloud So he picked the way, one daf a day. Every single Jew. The same daf. So you know, the critics of daf a yomi say, uh, this is called Lima Torah, Bikiyos, you just say the word, you, you're never going to become a Tamil Chosom, a Lamda, and a boo, this is not learning. We know all the criticism. The Chavaz Chaim was sitting there in Katowice in 1923. He said to himself, because Rabbi Aaron Cutler heard him sitting next to him. Oi, Yisrael Mayor, why didn't you think of this? He said to himself, Oi, Yisrael Mayor, why didn't you think of this? It's not a little thing. It's the greatest idea in modern times. A 27-year-old rabbi from Lublin had an idea that 89 years later, a week ago, we were with 100,000 people learning about half a day. Tell me about this. It's better to have a superficial Bikiyas in all thir- 36 Mesechtas. All. That you will never learn Yeshiva. Like Brachas, you never learn Yeshiva. You're learning it now. You see how much I got into there? There's long and mudim there. And you're going to learn the Kalim in Yeshiva. You're going to learn <laughs> Masha Shani. Um, the Mishnayas, you know, there's 63 Mesechtas, 36 have more, and, and 33 are just Mishnayas. That's right. And um, uh, 36 of the 63 have light, more light. That's why in Hanukkah, the lights equal 36. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8. But you have to learn Megillah and Tainus and, Megillah and all these others too. And Mishnai and Kalim and, 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 and Maishashani and Kurim and, and Orla and the Mai and all the other sectors that don't have any Gemara. Shkolem, we do learn. What about the other things that have no Gemara? You have to learn that too, besides the 36 Mesechtas. 21, how was it? 2711 uh, pages. I think like that, about 5,000 Amunim. All right, let's talk about Akev. So Akev is safe to Rosu Kubah, Kuf Beis Ayin, same as Ayin Kuf Beis, same thing. And, um, My father, the mind base of Sheva says something that's mind blowing. Ches, plus ches. Oh, look at this. People who are into organic food understand this. Eres chita, land of wheat, soro, and barley. That means the, uh, there's five grains. Chita, chita, and soro. Wheat and barley means spelled rye and oats. Uh, Eres chita, the soro, and then the five fruits. Gefen, Teino, Rimon, Eretz, Zeh, Shem, and Udvash. The land of all the seven species, the two grains, which is five grains, and all the other fruits. Uh, Gefen, the wine, wine comes from a Gefen, and Teino, figs, and Rimon, pomegranates, and Zayas, olive, olives, and honey, tomorrow, dates. Eretz, Ashelom, and Muskenes, you will not be rationed, you have plenty of stuff. Tokel, Bo, Lechem, Lechem, uh, a poor lechem, you eat food. Lechem is not bread. Pasta is bread. Lechem is food. Low sexual kobo. Nothing will be missing. Eres Asher Avaneho Barzel. The land where its mountains, its stones are made out of iron. Umeharel, and from its hills, Techaseb the Chosh, you can mine copper. Rochalto, you will eat the Sovoto, you will say, Shere Barachto, you will bless God, your God. That's the only bracha in the Torah. All other 175 brachas are abundant except this. After you eat, you will bench. Only bracha in the Torah. Hashem is Kecha Aris, and the good land Hashem knows enough of the God has given to you. Says the mine base of Sheva. What is mining, minerals, mining have to do with eating food? In short, he says, here, there's a long piece here. He says, if you eat food 
It's not fertile. Doesn't the ground is not fertilized? It doesn't have trace minerals like copper and iron and manganese and and then all these things that you get out of the ground. If it doesn't have the ground. Those rocks don't have it with earth. It doesn't have any trace minerals. You're having nothing. You're not getting satisfied. It's worthless food. Organic farmers understand that they fertilize with natural uh, things, but they don't use pesticides and, and germicides. They use natural. They know how to plant things together to keep away the bugs and the and the and the, and the, and, the, and, the, and the vermin. So you need trace minerals. That's why I said the mountains have copper and iron and all different trace minerals. There are 12, 15 trace minerals you have to have in your food. Otherwise, the food is not nutritious. That's the Mayan base of Sheva. One. Ches, ches. And then he brings like this about that subject. You do it's not quite you do it's known the half may have teva from scientists she gone papyrus from all the fruits of the ground with tabu and grains with whole me name muscle all kind of foods I could own the because they grow on the ground yes we have to start to rule the show bars out they have a some iron minerals not only iron just these trace minerals iron sapphire zinc copper all the minerals sure meaning that kiss all metals the word of halal and chutzim, they're very necessary, but the top is really good to keep your body healthy. He says on the bottom here, as a plus again to Hillam, Lamed Hey Yud, call out Smosai, all my bones, all my organs, to Marno, they say, Hashem, Michama, who's like you? He says, Amatzel Oni Mechazik Menu, he saves a poor person from the one that's stronger than him. For Oni and a poor man, the Evion, one of you may have Evion and a destitute person may go so from him who robs him. He says like this, when the body gets the nutrition, the vitamins, the copper, the sulfur, the iron, the manganese, the whatever it needs, the zinc and the copper and whatever, why don't the big organs steal from the small organs, the tiny little organs, big organs like the liver? Why don't they steal everything away? Doesn't that, in the world of animals, doesn't the big one steal from the weaker one, and the weak dies, and the, and the large, the our larger one uh, is nutritious? He says, Hashem made it that the poor man does not get stolen from. The little organs get their little trace minerals, a minuscule amount of copper, zinc, or manganese, or whatever they need. Vitamin A, B, C, D, K, what all the vitamins are. Potassium, what else? Calcium. The big organs don't steal it from the little ones. That's what he learns from this book. That's his idea. Call out Smosai to Amar Hashem. Me, who is like you? Matzil Oni, you save the, the poor person or the little organ. Mechazik Mena from the stronger organ. Or in the world of poverty too. We're talking about the, this here, how the body distributes its vitamins and, nut and nutrition. But only the Avi Magosla from the poor man who one who wants to heal him. Sheish la habchin yichud hashevak shel hatzolas only laps most. What's have to do with bones in your body? That's what he explains. I have to go through the whole piece. This is the idea of the Mayim. And then one more thing. Yud Aleph Yud Beis. What is the God asking of you? What does he want from you? He, he doesn't need anything from you except one thing. Because he determines who you're going to marry, when you're going to marry, how old you're going to be, how many kids you're going to be, how long you're going to live, when you're going to die, how you're going to die, be rich or poor, brilliant or not, or simple. Or, you know, it's all decided. Only one thing is not in his area. He does not control that. Tall you soil, now you soil, any minute of your life. More, what is the Hashem that he show me more is once from you that he cannot give you. Kim liyurus Hashem, no, only to fear God. Elokecha, your God. Lalechus, to follow the walk, the rock of in his ways. Lahavos, to love him, means a cold day shemaim, chutz meyurus shemaim, that comes from you. Do you want to go into Gan Eden or Gehenna? Sadiq Russia, that's up to you. A cold day shemaim, chutz meyurus shemaim. More Hashem, what does he want from you? He wants you to make a decision to be good or bad. To be a good person, to be a functional Jew, you have to say a hundred brachas a day. 
mm-hmm. hundred brachas a day. You learn from this pasuk. Why? I told you so. Mo Hashem, Mo Meya. Take the word Mo Mem Hey. You to put a Tzayre under the Mem Hey and under the Hey. You put a comment. May Ho, May Ho. Hundred from Mem is hundred brachas. That's very easy to get hundred brachas a day. If you damage one Esther, Marav Shabbos and Mincha, you got nineteen times three is fifty-seven right there. Then you got sixteen brachas in the morning. And 73 right there, and then you got Kriya Shema, two brachas in the beginning, and then if you ask Shema, three at two in the, in the morning, in the front, and one after three, and night you got two and three, five, eight all together. Mm. Then you got uh, Tzitzis, and you got Tzitzidayim, and Shachar, and all these things, you had over 150. That's the Rem, is Mo Hashem, May, or 100. So you say, well, I, that's stretching a little bit, May, May, Ho, Mo. Okay. So how come that plus exactly has a hundred letters? Mm. Now, it's not just an accident. And mem hey in atbash is a hundred. You know what that means, mem hey? If you go, you know there's a thing called atbash. Atbash gar dat hatsvap. The first letter and the last letter could be switched. One could be four hundred. At. Bash two could be three hundred. Because one at either end is at. A first letter, last letter. Or move, remove the second one from the beginning is bad. Phase this could be shin. Two could be two or it could be three hundred. Gar, gimel could be two hundred. Dak, dollar could be one hundred. If you take the mem, the ma, and count it from the beginning, it's thirteen letters. From the beginning, you go back, you go back thirteen letters, you get to the letter yud. Ten. And hey is the fifth letter. Go back five, you get sadi. Yud and sadi. Ten and ninety. Hundred. There's more proofs. It's not just an accident. There's no accident in the Torah. Ma is a hundred. That's forty-five, but it's a hundred because of Atbash. And you know what else Atbash is? If you know what day of the week Pesach came out, the first day of Pesach, Ah, will be the same day of the week as Tishba, At. Bash, the second day will be Shuz. Gar Gimel will be Rosh Hashanah. That the Dal will be Kriyas Torah as Simchas Torah. And that, uh, that hats, the hay will be Tzom Kippur. Vap, Vav will be Purim. There's no accidents. It's so fabulous. Puzzle this thing. It's, the more you learn, the more the genius you see in it. Chumash is multi-layered, every single thing. When Mashiach comes, you're not going to be learning nothing but Chumash and Gemara. Because all the Tanakh is built on the five books of Moshe. And all the Tanakh you know, mostly is Muslim. You don't need it. Only Chumash and Mishnah. Because you know the Gemara, the Mishnah. You understand when you learn the Mishnah, why it took them ten blocks to figure out that the Mishnah was finally right? They did ten blocks because it always comes out like the Mishnah. When Mashiach will have an enlightened view, it will be so clear, everything will be so clear, all the nations of the world will be, they'll serve a Kaddish Baruch Hu. They'll home, be Yom Ahu, Yashem, a Kaddish Baruch Hu. There will be no contradiction. No one will have a Havamina to do anything else because it will be so clear. Why would they make a mistake? They wouldn't think of it. It would be nonsense. It's so clear. It's so brilliantly clear. That's why at Hasinai, it says they were, the light was, the fire was burning and was Ophel, pitch black. Means they were blinded due to the light. Means they were blinded to any other idea. Because this was so clear and logical and logical. It was so clear, the burning light, blazing, and it was the pitch black. Means they were, it was blinded by the light. Means you're blinded from every other discipline. That's not Emerson. A big god once at a convention, I picked up a safer, and he told 5,000 people at the good convention. This is the only book ever written that's totally MS. Every other book could make mistakes, maybe change it, could be. This is the only one that, every Gemara, every Chumash, every Tanakh is total MS. Because it's written from Hashem through a Navi. Torah is totally MS. We're super convinced it's right. We see Jewish history. <laughs> Look. They wanted to wipe us out. Many, many, many nations. 65 years ago. They wanted to wipe out us. What did we have last week? 100,000 come to come and learn Gemara in one building. That's that stadium. 65 years. We ain't going away. We're here forever and ever and ever because that's why Hashem created the universe. I told you a hundred times, Bracious. But Yishono, Mro'o, Elohim, Shiyakablu, Yisrael, Torah. That's why He made the universe. Everything. All the planets, everything. All the galaxies. 
Hard to swallow that, right? Well, once you learn more toe, you see it's obvious. Okay, last thing, you allow your base. It says in um, A10, Air is the land, you'd all feel base. Pasha, you'd all feel good base. Air is the land of Shashem, the Kesha Dodi Show. So, the land that God is looking after it, told me constantly, every second. Ain't the Hashem of the Kesha Dodi The eyes of God are on it. The Reish is Hashem of Achus Hashem, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. It's only one problem. The word Reish is missing an olive. And Reish is Ha Shona with a hey idea. And Achus Shona with no hay. So the Chazal tell us, the beginning of the year, Tishrei, the first day of Tishrei, which is the first day of the seventh month, if you go by months, but it's the first day of the first month if you go by years. So uh, there, you hear your chauffeur, and you hope you're going to make it that year. Reish is written without, and Aleph means Reish, Reish, Shin, Rosh, poor. You don't know if you're going to make it. You feel like impoverished. You don't know if you're going to make it. End of the year, you see the bracha came true, you made it, bracha Hashem. So the beginning of the year is rush, poor. You totally rely on Hashem. That's why it says harsh on a debt. Beginning of the year is very virtuous because you feel very modest when you feel rush. You don't have much going for you. Will God survive you financially and physically? Ha on a That's a hush of a part of the year when you submit yourself to Hashem. At the end of the year, when everything came true already, everything's good. So it doesn't have Hashanah, just Hashanah, which means it's not such a high madre, goes to the Mayim. Because already you don't have to try, you don't have to have such a moon, you already got it. All the grains and the products, and you were successful. So therefore, the beginning of the year is very, very, very Hashanah. It's very Hashanah. Hey, I am here. Because you made yourself a rush. Rosh Alav Shin became Rosh Shin. Rosh, a poor man. The end of the year, when it all came in, you don't have that strong moon because it came true. That's why it says Shana without a day. Okay, Rabbi, boys, like we're finished with our share on Akev. We hope you have a wonderful week. Remember, learn Torah deeper and deeper because it's all there. Hafachbob, hafachbob, the kulabob. You never get to the depth of it. It says Akev Tishma'un with a long vav. Fana Tishma'u. Because even when you're in the biggest sorrows in the world, there have to be some people that plum, that plumb the nun shari bin of nun. Tishma'u is good enough. Akev Tishma'un. There got to be people that are sitting and learning. Torah all the time, the nun shari bin, otherwise the world can't exist. Zagzum.